Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of Python for SEO. It's James here from Understanding Data and Send Pioneer, and today we're going to be reviewing how we can search for and delete files at incredible scale. We're also going to be looking at how we can delete folders at, at scale and also making sure that we can delete specific types of files, whether that be PDF, CSV, TXT, etc. So let's get to it. The first thing that we're going to need to do is download new content. So if you're looking at this from the previous part of the course, you might have to do git pull origin master inside of your terminal. However, if you've just recently downloaded the course, then you'll be all up to date. Run this, you'll either get already up to date with your branch or you'll have downloaded fresh content. Next, we're going to load up a Jupyter Notebook and we're going to go to the starter code of this specific page. So go into three, how to delete multiple local files and let's review the starter code. So the learning objectives for today are to make sure that we can delete single file directories, multiple file directories and folders, and also to make sure that we can delete TXT, CSV, or any other file types from a specific directory. So in the episode before, we were able to combine multiple CSV files using Python, and it's important that we were able to delete files at scale after we've done some work. For example, if we've downloaded 100 log files, then we might need to specifically delete those 100 log files. Um, and they could be in a range of different files, folders, so I think it's a really good opportunity for us to practice some automation. So the first thing that we're going to do is import all of our packages. We'll be using glob, uh, sutil, uh, os. We might use pandas a little bit, but generally speaking, those are the main three. So we can type ls, and I've already prepared a range of different directories and files that we can specifically work from. So obviously, again, you can see here when we do ls, that's inside of a Jupyter Notebook. However, if you're on the command line, we can do that. So let's go to that specific directory. Python for SEO. I'm going to clear my terminal with clear ls. Now I'm going to cd. cd is change directory into number three. And we can see here we've got a range of different folders and files. Great. I've already prepared some directories that we would like to delete and some directories we'd like to keep safe and the same for files. So let's move on to how we can specifically delete file directories within Python. What we're going to do first is use the command pwd that will get us our exact current working directory path and then we're going to save this into a variable called path now yours will be different so i'd really recommend taking the time to code long and change this path in order for us to get every single directory from our current working directory we're going to be using the os package so let's code that up and the way that we can get access to all the current folders and files within a path is by using os.scandr and putting in the path. This returns us an iterator object which is currently unavailable. So let's put it into a list so that we can see it. Now you can see we have at the moment all the files but we also have folders. Um, so in order to get folders what we're going to do is make a list comprehension and we're going to only return things that are folders. So let's do for folder in this folder. So that returns everything. Now we're going to say if folder, and we're going to do is, and then the. Now we get all of the folders that are currently present inside of our working directory. That's great, but instead of just leaving it like this, let's change it to dot path, which actually gives us the path of those. Now we're going to save this to list uh, and we're going to save this to a variable called list subfolders with paths and we can print this out print lists and you can use tab and that will allow you to auto complete great Now, using the logic that we created earlier, we can see that the never want or I never want or to delete this always occurs in the directory that we'd like to keep safe, but never in the directories that we would like to delete. So we can basically say if this any of this text string appears, then avoid putting it into our list and we'll just delete everything else. So an example of how to do that would be to do something like this. 
for folder in list of subfolders with paths. Let's loop over this to start with. So that gets us everything, including the one that we want to keep safe. Then what we can do is we can say, if I never not in folder. Now you can see here that we've been left with every single folder that doesn't contain the text string I never. So that's SEO marketing content, HRS backlinks data, digital marketing content, uh, a checkpoint, and some CSV data. So basically what we've done here is we've said, I want to include all of the directories in this list that never contain I never want to as a text string. So we can save this again as a subfolder, subfolders to delete. So let's just print that. Right, cool. So the important syntax is this. If I never want not in folder names. So every single time we loop over our existing folders, we're assigning that to the folder. And then we're saying if this thing doesn't occur, so if I never doesn't occur in, in the text string, then I want to keep it, else I do not want to include it in my new list. Now that we have a list of folders that we want to delete, we're going to loop over them and delete them using shutil.rmtree. Basically, this will recursively delete all files and folders in a specific path that we tell it to do. So let's do that. For folder in, and then use our subfolders to delete, and now let's just print this to start with because once we've deleted it, we won't actually be able to see it anymore. So these are the ones we want to delete and I'd really recommend as a pro tip, just making sure that you're happy with the current folders that you're going to be deleting because once you do something like os.remove or sh uh, shootil.rmtree, those files have been completely deleted from your computer and are unaccessible. So just make sure that you're actually happy with that. In this case, we're pretty happy. I'm just going to add a double dash line like a line here so we can see. And then we're gonna run this command, um, shootil.rmtree on the folder. Now we can double check that that's actually been deleted. So you can see here, we've only been left with this one folder in our current working directory and all of the other folders were indeed deleted. So in the next section, what we're gonna be looking at is how we can delete specific file types. So for example, a range of .txt files in a current working directory. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to get a list of all of the different files. So let's create a variable and do for, uh, we will use this command here, os.list and then dot and you can see here we've got a list here and then let's also just say for f in this which just loops over them and then we're going to say if the os path dot is file which means we're only now looking at files so we can now resave that to this and we could print this for example we can use an F string. These are the files like this. And then we can insert that variable inside of curly braces, open and close curly braces and end it with a string. You can also put things on a new line like this. You could use several two lines. So these are the files, for example. So there's two ways that we can approach this problem. The first way, so let's have a look at the files that we'd like to keep and the files that we'd like to delete. So you can see here, they all end in .txt. And what we would like to do is uh, use this one called keep this file safe. And we would like to delete these ones. So you can see here, they've all got delete as a common thing, whilst this one doesn't have delete. So we could build a list of files that all contain the string delete and then we could basically delete those files using os.remove. Another way to approach the problem would be to say, return me a list of all files that do not have the string keep this file safe 
for example. So let's actually have a look at two methods for that now. So let's have a look at method one. So the first thing we're going to do is do for f in files. So for file in files, let's print these. Now let's do, we can see that practicing delete, all of these have um, an underscore, whilst the file that we, we want to keep doesn't have an underscore. So we can say if there's an underscore in the file string name, print me f. And let's delete this previous one here. Now you can see we've got all the files that we'd like to delete. So we could, for example, just use os.remove and then we could put f here and that would delete all of these files here, including .ds score. Now, if we wanted to get rid of that, we could say in f and .ds, not in f, Let's uncomment this. See how that's now de deleted. That would be one way to do it. Now let's review method two. And in method two, essentially what we're going to be looking for is that delete uh, commonality between all the files that we'd like to delete. So we can say for F in files, print F. Now you can see they've all got delete in common here. So let's say if all of them are txt, So that just brings us to looking at all the txt files. Now we still want to keep this one safe. So we can do and delete in f. Now this gives us a complete list of all the files that we would like to delete. So let's actually run this one with os.remove f. Now if we try and run this again, we're going to get an error. And the reason why is pretty obvious, but we've already deleted them. So if we go and type ls, we can see we've got both of our Jupyter notebooks and we have the folder that we wanted to keep and we've also got the file that we wanted to keep. Okay, awesome. So now what we're going to look at is how we can specifically search for file types, not only in our current working directory, but also in folders that could be 10 or 50 subfolders below. So let's first get our path with using PWD and we can save that as, for, uh, as our root folder. We're going to use this structure here and I think it'd be really cool if we could just demonstrate what this potentially does. So we pass in root and then we're going to need to also create a series of, so you can see we've used the ends widths and we're going to pass in some extensions. So remember this should just be a single uh, because we're going to make our extensions also a tuple. So .csv, .txt, we're going to have a Python list for matching them. And then now let's actually say we're going to look in this root folder and we're going to walk through all of the directories and all of the paths. And then for any file names that we found anywhere, what we're going to do is we're going to add those to matches. So we're going to do matches.append file name. So let's print matches. Great. So we're able to find all of the specific files in all of the subdirectories. We would literally have gone into every single smaller directory and we would look for either CSV files or .txt files. So this works really well when you have uh, one directory and there's lot, you know, maybe 50 folders and inside of all of those 50 folders, maybe there's another three or four folders. This would literally allow you to scoop up all of the CSVs across that entire folder structure. In this next section, what we're going to be reviewing is how we can delete not only single uh, file types such as .txt, but also how we can delete multiple file types within a current working directory. I think this is really important because then it means we can be much more specific. Do we want to, uh, for example, delete log files? Do we want to delete a, a hundred or a thousand CSV files? So the first thing that we're going to do is create just some random files using the touch command. You can do this in either the command line or use uh, exclamation mark touch. And let's just have a look if we do this, for example, you can see we've now created these extra file types. What I would like to go through is Basically, we want to be able to say if this is a CSV, 
um, or if this is a TXT or if this is a PDF, then I would like to delete this in this current working directory. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list of files. And we can do use the one that we used earlier, which is list dirt, our current working directory, if the os.path is file f, we wrap this inside of a list comprehension. So for file in list comprehension, so for every file that everything that's listed in here, if this is a file, then show this to me. We could also do and not and ds not in f. Cool. So let's save those as files. Now the next thing for f in files, we can use something called if ends with. So if f ends with, and what we do is we pass in a tuple here. So we can say .pdf or .txt. .txt. Now let's just print and see which of these come through. So you can see they all come through. Let's print files and then I'm going to explain how this works. So we've got CSVs, we've got jubes and notebooks that interestingly weren't included. Everything else was. So let's for example remove the .txt just to prove how this works. Uh, what did we just remove? So we had two .txts there. So let's do .txt and .csv. So that's now printing the CSV after I corrected that. But let's remove the CSV for example. Great. So how this basically works is whatever is included inside of this tuple, if the string, which we know is a file name, because we can print that here, if this ends in this specific format, then do something with it, else we can leave it alone. So let's remove this print here. So for example, we could say, I want to find all the PDFs and TXTs in my current working directory. And then we can basically remove them. So if I was to run that command there, we would remove all of the PDFs and TXTs in our current working directory. We could do if not, and then some condition is true or false. So we could actually do the exact opposite and go for file in files, like this. And then we could say if file ends with pass in a tuple, and then we could say PDF TXT. We would also change this to if not. So if this file path does not end with PDF or TXT, then do something. You can see now we've got the Jupyter Notebooks, so we could hide those as well. .ipymb. Yeah, so now we're just left with the TXT file by using negation. The final thing that we're going to be reviewing is how to delete specific file types in all of the directories below your current working directory. Similarly to the code above, where we use an os.walk from a specific folder and have some matches and extensions. The way that you can utilize this is in exactly the same manner. So you would use the walk on a specific folder, which would walk across all of the directories. Um, but instead of saving it to a matches, what you can do is you can just do os.remove on the file name, and then that would basically delete the folder. So yeah, hopefully now you can see how easy it is to delete uh, files and folders inside of any of your desktops or local environment at scale. I think this is really important because then you can download, for example, 1,000 or 100,000 CSVs, however many it is, or a range of different log files. And then once you've done that, you can automatically open them all, put them into pandas, do some data manipulation on that. You can save the results as a CSV whilst deleting all these CSVs and files or logs um, immediately after with the same script. It just means that everything's going to be automated. And yeah, this is kind of like what hopefully will help in your future work.